Please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Maybe North Carolina should try playing scared more often. The Tar Heels used a 37-2 run that lasted nearly 11 minutes in the second half to defeat Notre Dame 101-59 in the second round of the ACC tournament Wednesday night. The Heels were well aware of Notre Dame's opening round comeback against Wake Forest, in which it closed the game on a 17-2 run. So with the offense stagnant and the Irish making a few early threes to start the second half, the Heels' motivation by fear kicked in. Obviously, the way they came back Tuesday was kind of scary, UNC Armando Bacot said. And not having Garrison, Brooks, we just knew we could not let up on them. Senior forward Garrison Brooks suffered a left ankle injury in the first minute of Carolina's win over Duke on Saturday. He dressed out for the game but did not play for just the second time in 132 games. UNC coach Roy Williams said he knew Tuesday that Brooks would either be limited or unavailable, so he challenged his frontcourt to make up for it. The Tar Heels advanced to face no. 3 seed Virginia Tech, who they did not play during the regular season. The Hokies played just four games last month, having to shut down basketball activities twice due to contact tracing. They have not played since an 84-46 win over Wake Forest on February 27. With Brooks, we have the best frontcourt nation, by far, easily, said UNC freshman center Walker Kessler. And without him, we all kind of understood that we've got to step up a little bit, like no one person has to do it by themselves. It was evident from the start that Notre Dame couldn't contain the Tar Heels' size and they exploited that advantage at every turn. Just visualize Irish guard Dane Goodwin, all 6'6 six six of him, trying to defend the 7'1 Kessler. The game was like playing keep away from a younger, smaller sibling. Early on it seemed like every shot Carolina missed, it was able to corral off the boards for a second attempt. And a third. And sometimes a fourth. The Heels finished with 25 offensive rebounds, one shy of tying its season high in the loss at Syracuse, and 27 second chance points. I feel like me and Dayron Sharp are probably the two best offensive rebounders in the country, sophomore forward Armando Bacot said. Quote dot dot dot. We beat each other up in practice all the time every day and make it tough on each other. So just going against other bigs, it's a lot easier just getting to the offensive glass. All of their frontcourt got involved too, with Bacot leading the way with 20 points and 13 rebounds. Sophomore Dayron Sharp, who started in place of Brooks, had 14 points and 10 rebounds. Kessler flirted with just the third triple-double in UNC history but fell just shy with 16 points, 12 rebounds and 8 blocked shots. Bacot said he believed Kessler had the highest upside of all the bigs. Kessler made way for the reserves to play after logging 24 minutes, but surely could have gotten two more blocks had he lobbied Williams to stay in the game. If I wanted to sleep tonight in my bed, I probably shouldn't have said anything to coach so I didn't, Kessler joked. I wasn't really concerned about it. I was just happy to get the win. Carolina's happy to have a Kessler and a Sharp, who can be tapped and deliver a double-double to make up for the absence of their most experienced player. Largely overshadowed by the work of the frontcourt on the boards and how many points the heels put on the scoreboard, was how well they played defensively. Notre Dame ranks 19th in offensive efficiency according to Kenpom.com, but the heels limited them to just 31% shooting from the floor, including just 6 for 31 in the second half. In UNC's 66-65 win on January 2, the Irish shot 11 for 30 from three-point range. Carolina didn't allow them to get the same open looks they had in Chapel Hill. Forward Nate Lazuski, who had 25 points in the first meeting including seven three-pointers, was held to 13 points. He missed his only two attempts from behind the arc. We couldn't let Lazuski get going, or Prentice Hub, Bacot said. I thought we went out and competed hard on defense. We got all the right rotations, we did a good job of communicating without our defensive leader Garrison. 
As to Brooks's availability for the quarterfinal, Williams said he was not sure. I'd like to give an update, because that would mean I have won, Williams said. We thought he was going to be able to play up until Wednesday. We didn't practice him Tuesday, except the warm-up stuff. And I thought he would be able to go but it was still bothering him. That's all talk. Please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates.